welcome to Divine Bow Beginnings 93 with a DBB 93 squad. I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel as well as our returning subscribers for coming back and to everyone that watched the video that are not subscribed to the channel, welcome. You guys, this video will be for our beautiful Leos and this will be for the month of August, okay? So make sure in this video you take what resonates and let what doesn't fly bye bye. So you guys may hear like I got a little stuffiness going on. We're going to work through it. Um, I may need to take a little moment, take a little drink of water, but we're going to get to your reading, okay? So I feel like going into your reading, this is more about you than anything else, okay? This is more about you speaking up for yourself, making decisions, and holding firm to your decisions, Okay, so let's get into the first card here. You have the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords, you're at a crossroad. It's like you need to make a decision on what you want. For some of you, this could involve another person or this could involve like a relationship. But I feel like when it comes to you being at this crossroad, it's like you doing a hokey pokey. We're going to keep it honest here. You're doing a hokey pokey. You, you're stepping in and you're stepping out when it comes to a situation. You're not completely grounded and firm on your decision here. And I feel like for some of you, it could be part of the fact that you don't know the outcome that's going to happen. Or it's like you're so used to having things your way that at this point in time, this may not go your way and that scares you, that freaks you out. So I feel like the divine is telling you to make a decision. Do you want this or not? But I did pull some clarifiers for this. And you have the Six of Wands with the Eight of Wands. So the Six of Wands speak of movement, moving forward, getting the recognition and then the Eight of Wands, we know the Eight of Wands is of action, is of communication, okay? Now, with the Six of Wands, I feel like somewhere here you need to give yourself the recognition on how far you've come. And at the bottom of the deck, you guys did have the Five of Cups, so I'm filling this energy up with the Five of Pentacles right up under that. So it's like you're looking at the past and you're wondering, is this situation that you're going into going to be like the past? Or it's kind of like, like I said, you're so used to like deciding things and things going your way that this at this moment, you're not for sure if this situation is going to go your way. You're not for sure how things are going to play out. Because it's like the past energy keeps coming in and, you know, showing you something different that your intuition has already shown you to be wrong. Your intuition is guiding you along the path to tell you this is what you want. This is what you desire. If that has to do with work, if that has to do with a relationship, you have the card, the six of wands here. So it's this action, this movement the recognition you're going to desire. I feel like for some of you, if this is about a relationship, it has you mentally trapped. I feel like when it comes to the situation, you just want things to take off. You want things to, you know, kind of hit the ground running. You want communication to come in towards you and you want to communicate the things you've been going through if you are in separation while you're apart from this person. I feel very strongly here. It could be like a job offer coming in for someone. Or you could be waiting to hear about a job offer. I feel like you've been given this situation your time, your effort. And the divine is basically saying it's well worth it. Okay? 
if you are waiting on like a job offer to come in because that's what I'm feeling here for somebody you're gonna get the job like it's already been yours it's just some things that they had to clear up before you got offered the position okay so we're gonna go into the next card you have the page of wands creativity is here okay so it, this speaks of you needing to let your freak flag show and when i say that i don't mean like in a sexual way um because it do kind of sound a little sexual but it's like allowing your creative side to come out allowing yourself to speak up i feel like in the past in situations you've always held back you you either felt like you didn't want to start conflict, but here it's like you see things from a different point of view. Like instead of going at it, you know, headstrong, it's like be creative about it. Like if you have a question about something, bring that up in a matter where it's a loving situation. Again, you have another card here for wands. So it's taking action towards what you want and not backing down. I feel like so far um, what you're reading, it's a lot of mental situation going on here, okay? It's like because you quite haven't seen the fruits of your labor just yet, it's here, but it's not here just yet. It's like, okay, uh, have I invested my time wisely? I mean, I know I've been getting signs, but have I? Have I put in all the work I need to? It's like the divine is telling you to stop worrying about the situation. And on the clock right now is 333. So that could be a synchro for you as well. For the clarifiers for this card, you got the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So I feel like, oh, well, sorry. <laughs> I feel like when it comes to this, it's setting boundaries, speaking up, coming out of this Eight of Swords. If you see, like, this person, they have, like, their, it looks like their vocals are cut. Like, the knives are at their vocals. So, it's like you could have felt like with a situation you had to walk on eggshells because you didn't want this conflict. You didn't want things to turn bad, okay, or turn out worse. I feel like with the Queen of Swords, in this moment, whatever moment you're dealing with, the words are going to flow freely. But it's you needing to let go of the fact that I feel like for someone you're really trying to like not hurt someone's feelings and in hindsight you're actually hurting yourself by not speaking up. So that could be also why the Eight of Swords is here too because it's like you want to get your point across, you want to speak, you want to be heard but at the same time you're like uh... I just don't want to deal with it today. I, it's like, I ain't got time for it. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, whatever. We'll do it another day. But the Queen of Swords is here because you've worked through the fact that you haven't been speaking up. You haven't been allowing your presence to be known here. And I feel like when it comes to the situation, it's just calling for you to do that. And it's more of, it may ruffle some feathers, but at the end of the day, you're standing up for yourself and it's going to bring you stability within yourself to stand up for yourself. This could be moving forward. This could be leaving a situation behind. I feel like when it comes to the situation, the Queen of Swords is very prominent here for you to speak up, to not... Not to say, like, not hold your tongue, but to be mindful of what you say to others. But at the same time, it's like, don't hold back. Don't hold back who you are. Because whatever you're going into is something that's creative. It's something that's bright. It's something that's new. It's You're not going to feel this energy that you've been feeling. Like, 
no one understands you you're in the dark or you you walk this road alone that's what i'm feeling with this so the next card you have here is the hermit you're in deep thought you're in contemplation about what's going on because like i said before with a clarifier here the five of wands you don't want conflict anymore you're done with conflict you have the seven of pentacles something you've been waiting to do or waiting to say or to like bring up to make either the situation better to get higher commitment in something it's like like i say it could be a promotion or it could be with love here but i do feel like Is you needing your solitude when it comes to the situation to actually evaluate what's going on. I feel like somebody's here pulling the strings other than you. Even though you could be a part of this conflict that's been going on, okay? But I just, I just feel like someone, like, you're not really looking at the whole situation. You're not... The divine is saying, pay attention to what other people are saying or doing. Pay attention to their actions. Pay attention to their demeanor. I know you guys probably couldn't hear the way I said demeanor because my nose is stuffed up. Sorry. But pay attention to their orientation. It's like something you've been waiting on has been holding you back because, again, you're taking to a consideration other people's feelings and it's not to say like don't do that it's not to say that it's to say when do you get a break when do you get your shot that's like if you go for an acting gig and they say they want to just see one more person and the person behind you tells you their story and it's like okay you know I'm the, I'm the last person to go up. So it's kind of saying in a way, are you going to let that person take your place? Take that shot that's yours, regardless if they get it or not? Or are you going to step up and do what you got to do and shine like the diamond that you are? Something here you've been, you've been waiting for. Like either you've been waiting on this argument to take place so you can just leave you've been like i feel like a situation that you're dealing with for somebody you see all the red flags you see all the signs you're ignoring them it's like you're hoping that a situation will change it will get better and the five here or the seven could be of how many years you've been in this either partnership or this situation So, as you see the Seven of Pentacles, this person is starting to pick up, I would say, like, their eggs in a basket. It's kind of like, slowly but surely, you're taking yourself out of this energy. This is also a card of needing to meditate, to connect with the divine. And, you know, it's kind of like speaking your truths to yourself really realizing the situation that you're dealing with regardless if it's you know good or bad it's still knowing that you deserve the best out of everything you have here the nine of swords this situation gives you anxiety it's making you feel like you put your life on hold and i feel like going into august you're going to be like, you're done. You're done putting your life on hold. You're done, you know, not letting your freak fly, okay? I feel like when it comes to that, like, again, it's this mental entrapment that this situation gives you. It's like, at this moment, you're probably like, why am I dealing with this? Why am I continuing to go through this over and over again? I know I deserve more. I know I deserve the best. For the clarifiers, you have the Three of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. 
wanting to build, wanting to come back into being whole. With the Queen of Cups, I feel like this situation is really taken to your emotion, your emotional side. It's, you know, making you contemplate you, contemplate what you do instead of looking at the either the other side, the other party situation and what they're doing. Not to say that you're completely right in the situation, but I feel like in order for you to have what you desire to build, because that's what you're looking forward to doing is building. Either you need to release past hurt, past pain, and come back into being the queen of cups. And it doesn't necessarily, you don't have to be a female, you can be a male. But it's needing to dive in your emotions or the other way around is to build. You have to acknowledge your emotions. Acknowledge why you're feeling this way. Ask yourself. Look at the triggers that come up when you're in this situation. It could be you needing to heal childhood pain. You need to heal past relationships and release it and finally let it go for good. So the next card you have is the world. I feel like when it comes to the world card being here, even though you're kind of in and out, you're going to make the decision. And whatever decision you make is going to be like the perfect decision. Now, on the other hand, for some of you, if you kind of veer off track a little bit, the divine will still guide you back. But it's to say that this is your new beginning. This is your new start. Okay. This is you no longer feeling like you're the Four of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Hold on, y'all. Because I did I already say the Nine of Swords. Um, I could be tripped. Oh, that, I said the Eight of Swords. Okay. I thought I was tripping for a minute. Sorry. So, the Four of Cups. I feel like the Four of Cups is like waiting on your ships to come in. Something that's giving you this. You did have the Nine of Swords. It was the last card, but it was from a different deck. Okay. Something that's giving you this anxiety. Something that you've been waiting on. You've been waiting for something to take off. I feel like with the world being here, it's going to come towards you, okay? Because you do have the page of coins. It's not going to be the biggest offer, but it's something that can grow. Once you allow your fear to let go, to fall wayside, I feel like this is exactly the moment that this comes in. The Four of Cups to me is feeling like you've been abandoned. Feeling like you've isolated yourself from everyone to wait for this offer. But it's you needing to get out. You needing to have fun because you know energy works better when you're having fun it moves things faster and you you forget times you forget days and it's like before you even realize it what you've been waiting for this offer it comes right to you you don't even realize that days and months go past i feel like you keep going back into this past something about the past that's Triggering you to feel left and lost and abandoned. And I, I feel like you need to you need to feel that pain for a moment just to heal. Because once you heal that, you're going into the new world. You're going into this new you. You you're coming out of Feeling lack, feeling lost, feeling like you don't have enough, feeling like it's not going to get better. It's going to get better. You're right at the top of the hill. It's getting better. It's just that sometimes when we go back into past hurt, past pain, we don't realize that sometimes we bury that. We 
you know, it's like we don't want to feel that. We don't want to be in that energy anymore because things been looking up for us. And then when you go back to it, it's like, why is this back? Why is this here? Well, you didn't really heal it. You just shoved it under the rug. So that's why that energy could be coming back up for you because you either shoved it under the rug or someone from the past is coming back around that either you're going to decide if they're going to need to be in your life or they can go. But it's coming to completions here. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Gratitude. I feel like the Nine of Pentacles is more of you feeling whole within yourself. More you feeling like I've done it. I didn't need this or that, this or that. I've done it. I'm here. And I pushed through. I persevered to where I needed to go. It's giving yourself this recognition. If that means going on a small little shopping spree, if that means going out to eat, it's just giving yourself this recognition that You've done it. You've made it through. You made it through the dark, okay? Because now, it's like, I feel like once you get rid of that situation, it rolls. Like, you really are not going to really have no air to breathe. It rolls right into your new beginning, okay? You have the two of wands. It's For some of you, if you're not getting over a situation, it's getting over the past hurt, Okay? You have the two of wands here because now it's time for you to decide where your world begins. Where do you want to start? How do you want to create? What do you want to move forward towards? I feel like you you kind of already decided what you want, but because you keep kind of reneging. If y'all play spades, y'all know what I'm talking about. You keep reneging on um, the direction. You need to be clear about it. And stand firm in what you want. Pinnacles could be of business of work. Taking the leap of faith into what you desire. You have the death card here. So this is a new beginning. This is like a... I feel like it's kind of like a rebirth for you. It's like... It's a reset on life. And that's how you're going to feel. Because you got the card of this deck. The fountain card. To me, the fountain card is like the magician. You can do anything you want, anything you desire, and the divine is letting you know that. Okay, let's pull. Well, I already had a pull. This is the bottom of the deck that was for you. So the first card you got is the Page of Cups. Again, if you're waiting on an offer, here it comes. You have the High Priestess. Listen to your intuition. If, if you waver in between, should you stay, should you not stay? What path should you go on? Listen to your intuition. Listen to the higher power that's telling you. Look at the synchros that's coming towards you, okay? You do have justice here. So in a situation, you may have felt like you were done wrong or, you know, you probably didn't understand why things had to go the way they went. But it's ultimately coming back towards you because if you look at this card, either you can say that's a triangle or you can say... That's part of the scales being balanced out, okay? But I feel like it's like a ray of sun pointing towards you. Like, this is the divine, and then you will be right here. So, it, it's shining a light on you. It's like the divine is asking you, what did you desire? What did you want? I feel like it's a wish that's going to come true from either you made this a moment back or you could have recently made this wish but because you've been putting in the hard work and you've been moving forward even though you may not feel like you've been moving forward like fast it's been slow it's been trying it's still good effort good work so the divine wants to bless you with abundance and it doesn't necessarily mean, you know, money. It can mean money, but it can mean more intuitive insight. Spirituality plays a big factor here. It could be this relationship that you're waiting on that you know that is for you. So for your oracle, you have, I surrender to a power greater than me. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to take these two. Here we go. Okay. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. And for your last card you have here, happiness is my birthright. But not only is it that, it's happy birthday. Because <laughs> we in Leo season. So, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please give this video a thumbs up. And make sure your bell notifications are turned on. I will see you guys in the next readings. Have a great day. Bye.